newly discovered records and personal stories are shedding even more light on the fascinating world of circus freaks. What do these remarkable stories reveal about the world of circus sideshows? 1. Johnny Eck, the Half Man Johnny Eck was an extraordinary figure in the world of circus freaks, leaving an unforgettable mark on everyone he encountered. Born in 1911 with a rare condition that left his lower body underdeveloped, Johnny refused to let this define him. While his upper body appeared normal, his lower half was notably smaller. Unfazed by his physical challenges, Johnny mastered the art of using his hands as legs, moving with the finesse of a pro. Johnny captivated audiences with his unique movement from a young age. His relentless spirit and undeniable talent pushed him to achieve remarkable heights. Johnny's fame skyrocketed when he starred in the controversial 1932 Freaks alongside other legendary sideshow figures. This role cemented his status as a household name among circus enthusiasts. Johnny Eck was a true icon in the bizarre and often misunderstood world of circus freaks. 2. Ohio Bigfoot Girl We've all heard tales of Bigfoot, but Fanny Mills, known as the Ohio Bigfoot Girl, was a real-life wonder. She became a legend in the 1880s with her incredible story. Fanny had a rare disease that made her legs and feet grow to enormous sizes. Her feet were reportedly 19 inches long and 7 inches wide, as big as a small boat. Despite her condition, Fanny didn't let it hold her back. She embraced her uniqueness and turned it into something truly inspiring, capturing the hearts of audiences everywhere with her remarkable journey. 3. The Living Human Skeleton Isaac Sprague was a famous entertainer and sideshow performer known as the Living Human Skeleton. After developing a mysterious condition that caused his weight to drop dramatically, he became a star attraction in P.T. Barnum's Museum of Human Curiosities, enduring a life of exploitation due to his skeletal appearance. 4. Prince Randian Prince Randian, known as the Snake Man and the Human Caterpillar, was a sideshow star in the early 1900s. Born without arms and legs due to Tetra Amelia Syndrome, he amazed crowds with his skills. Even with no limbs, he moved around using his hips and shoulders, looking like a big human caterpillar or snake. People were blown away by his agility. He got even more famous in the movie Freaks, where he rolled and lit cigarettes using only his lips while wearing a snug one-piece suit. But that's not all. He also painted, wrote, and even shaved. 5. The Ape Woman Julia Pastrana had a tough start but made it big in the circus world. Born in Mexico in 1834, she had hypertrichosis, which made her super hairy, and another condition that made her gums stick out. These traits made her look very different and turned her into a sideshow star. During the freak show craze, Julia's unique look made her a top attraction. She was advertised as the ape woman or baboon lady, and people flocked to see her and hear her story. Things took a turn when she went to Europe for shows. There, she met Theodore Lent, who managed her acts and eventually married her. He claimed to care for her, but who knows if he was sincere. Despite all the challenges and being exploited, Julia turned her situation around and built a successful career. She showed incredible resilience and became a symbol of strength, proving you can overcome anything and achieve great things. 6. Alice Elizabeth Daugherty Imagine being born with hair covering your entire face, not just a bit on your mustache or eyebrows, but so much hair you couldn't even see your own face. This condition, known as werewolf syndrome, affected Alice Elizabeth Doherty, who became famously known as the Minnesota Wooly Girl. Her hair, which was soft and silky blonde, measured over two inches long and covered her whole body. Alice's parents were ordinary people, raising her just like any other kid. She went to school, made friends, and stood out because of her hair. But in many ways, she was like any other child. Alice was smart, often outshining her peers, and had a lively personality. She also had an amazing singing talent. Even before turning five, she was performing publicly with Professor Weller's one-man band, wowing audiences with her voice. Whenever Alice went out or waited for her brothers and friends, she drew attention because of her appearance. People were curious and stared, but Alice was much more than just a spectacle. She embraced her unique look and thrived in her own special way. 7. The Four-Legged Woman Josephine Myrtle Corbin, known as the Four-Legged Girl from Texas, was born on May 12, 1868, in Lincoln County, Tennessee. She had a rare condition called dipagus, which caused her body to split into two pelvises and four legs from the waist down. Each of her smaller inner legs was paired with one of her outer legs. In the late 19th century, Myrtle gained fame for her unusual appearance. Her condition was due to her underdeveloped twin, which only formed from the waist down, including a pair of legs with three toes on each foot. These extra legs were not functional. 
so Myrtle relied on her stronger outer legs to move around. Myrtle's parents saw an opportunity to showcase her unique condition in the circus and sideshow circuit, promising to use the earnings for her education and future. This decision, although unconventional, was their way of caring for Myrtle and securing her financial stability. 8. Wang the Human Unicorn It's not unusual for animals to have horns, but it's pretty rare for humans. This oddity has spawned many myths and legends about horned people. Even famous historical figures like Alexander the Great and Moses were mistakenly thought to have horns due to early mix-ups. However, there are real cases of people developing horn-like growths, well documented by scientists and doctors. One of the most fascinating stories is about Wang, a Chinese farmer from the 1930s. Wang had a remarkable 14-inch horn growing from the back of his head. This bizarre condition caught the attention of Robert Ripley from Ripley's Believe It or Not. Ripley offered a reward to showcase Wang and his horn in an auditorium. Despite the excitement, the show never happened because Wang mysteriously vanished from public view in the early 1930s, adding to the mystery surrounding him. While bone growths extending beyond the skin are very rare, Wang's case stands out as one of the most intriguing stories of the circus freak era. 9. The Skeleton Man The Skeleton Man had a tough start. As a child, he was just like any other kid, but at 12, he began losing weight rapidly due to extreme progressive muscular atrophy. He tried various jobs, working as his father's cobbler and managing a grocery store, but his health kept getting in the way. After his parents died, he struggled to support himself. In 1865, he got a break in the circus sideshow, earning nicknames like The Living Skeleton and The Original Thin Man. Due to his fragile condition, he always needed nourishment and carried a flask of milk around his neck to sip on and stay alert. Despite his challenges, his life took a positive turn when he married Tamar Moore in 1868. They had three strong, healthy sons, bringing him immense joy and happiness. 10. The Human Owl Martin Joe Lorello, famously known as the Human Owl of the 1920s and 30s, looked like an average guy, but he had a jaw-dropping trick. He could turn his head 180 degrees. This incredible ability earned him his nickname. Lorello wowed audiences at Coney Island's Dreamland Circus Sideshow and quickly became a star at the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. His fame soared even higher when he performed at Ripley's Believe It or Not Auditorium in the 1930s. His tagline, the only one in the world who can walk straight ahead and look straight behind, left spectators amazed and curious about his unique contortion skills. 11. The Schlitzy Star Some people are born with unique traits that draw a lot of attention, like Schlitz. He was a famous performer in sideshows and circuses in the early to mid-20th century. Born in 1901, Schlitz had microcephaly, which caused a small head and intellectual disabilities, making him a standout figure in entertainment. His big break came in 1932 when he starred in the film Freaks, directed by Todd Browning. Beyond movies, Schlitz continued to charm audiences in sideshows with his vibrant costumes and friendly nature, despite his disabilities. Schlitz's positive attitude and ability to connect with people endeared him to many, and his legacy of optimism and resilience continues to inspire even after his time in the spotlight. 12. Another Human Owl Meet Muhammad Samir, a 14-year-old boy from Karachi, Pakistan, who can twist his head 180 degrees to look directly behind him. Using his hands to help rotate his head, Samir hopes his incredible flexibility will land him a role in a Hollywood movie. After his father fell ill, Samir quit school and joined a dance group called Dangerous Boys to support his family. His unique talent has made him a standout performer, earning him the nickname, The Human Owl. 13. The Lion-Faced Man Some people's uniqueness can't go unnoticed. Lionel, the Lion-Faced Man, also known as the Lion-Faced Boy, had a rare condition called hypertrichosis, giving him a magnificent lion-like mane covering his face and body. When Lionel was just four years old, a German circus owner saw his potential. Lionel quickly became the lion-faced man, one of the hottest attractions in the sideshow world. His incredible appearance captivated audiences globally, but behind the fierce look was a gentle and intelligent man. 14. Annie Jones Annie Jones made quite an entrance when she was born in Virginia in 1865 with a full-grown beard on her chin. Instead of being shocked, her parents saw a unique opportunity. They quickly turned her special feature into a profitable venture. When Annie was just a year old, her parents took her to New York City, where she joined P. Barnum's exhibition, dubbed the Infant Esau, referencing the hairy brother of Jacob from the Old Testament. 
Annie captivated audiences even before she could walk or talk. Her condition, likely hirsutism, caused excessive hair growth, but the exact cause is still a mystery. 15. The Elephant Man Joseph Merrick, famously known as the Elephant Man, was born in Britain in 1860. He had severe physical deformities, probably due to a rare genetic disorder like Proteus syndrome or neurofibromatosis, though doctors never officially diagnosed him. His deformities affected his face, limbs, and body, giving him a unique and unsettling appearance. Merrick's early life was tough, filled with physical pain, limited mobility, and social isolation. With few options, he ended up in sideshows, gaining fame as the Elephant Man. Everything changed when Dr. Frederick Treves, a well-known surgeon, discovered him. Dr. Treves arranged for Merrick to live at a London hospital, where he got better living conditions and medical care. As Merrick's story spread, people started showing compassion, seeing his sensitive and intelligent nature. He loved literature and culture, which helped him connect with many people. 16. The Two-Faced Man Edward Mordrake's story is really creepy. Born into a rich English family in the 19th century, he seemed set for a life of luxury, but fate had other plans. Edward had a second face on the back of his head, which supposedly whispered disturbing things to him at night, turning his life into a nightmare. Desperate for help, Edward saw countless doctors and spiritualists, but nothing worked. He sank deeper into despair and madness. Feeling abandoned and unable to bear the burden, Edward reportedly took his own life at a young age. Edward's eerie tale didn't die with him. It remains a chilling reminder that even the privileged can be trapped by darkness. The legend of the two-faced man continues to fascinate and terrify, passed down through generations. 17. The Camel Girl In the late 19th century, Ella Harper, known as the Camel Girl, became a famous circus performer. Born in 1870 with a rare condition that made her knees bend backward, Ella walked on all fours like a camel. Starting her circus career at 12, she performed in St. Louis and New Orleans before touring various states. In 1886, she joined W.H. Harris's Nickel Plate Circus, performing alongside a camel and earning her nickname. Ella's unique act made her a star despite her condition. She continued to perform until retiring and settled in Nashville. Ella passed away in 1921 at 51 years old. 18. Mumtaz Begum In a worn pavilion called the Mumtaz Mahal, Mumtaz Palace, rests Mumtaz Begum, a fascinating creature with the body of a lounging fox and the head of a woman. She's a popular attraction in freak circuses, known for her ability to see the future and offer advice to those seeking her wisdom. 19. Cuckoo, the Bird Girl Get ready to meet the amazing Cuckoo, the Bird Girl. Born Minnie Woy in Georgia in 1880, she had a rare condition called bird-headed dwarfism. This gave her a unique appearance, with a small head, a beak-like nose, a receding jaw, and some mental limitations. But none of this stopped her from captivating audiences. With a voice that mimicked a bird's song and a vibrant personality, Cuckoo didn't shy away from the spotlight. She quickly became a showstopper, charming everyone with her bird-like features and chirpy voice. Her journey took her from a Georgia asylum to the circus stage, thanks to a showman who saw her unique beauty. Cuckoo's story is a testament to overcoming obstacles and embracing one's uniqueness. 20. Daisy and Violet Hilton Daisy and Violet Hilton, conjoined twins from Brighton, England, were born on February 5, 1908. Joined at the hips but sharing no major organs, they led extraordinary lives despite many challenges. Advised by Harry Houdini in the early 1930s, they gained freedom and became stars, appearing in the film Freaks in 1932 and Chained for Life. Starting in poverty with their mother Kate Skinner, they amazed audiences across Europe and dazzled in U.S. sideshows, vaudeville, and burlesque circuits in the 1920s and 1930s. Despite showbiz struggles and failed marriages, they inspired many. Their lives were celebrated in musicals and documentaries, including the Broadway hit Sideshow. In 2022, they were honored with a commemorative blue plaque in Brighton. 21. Edouard Beaupré, The Willow Bunch Giant Edouard Beaupré, famously known as The Willow Bunch Giant, was a standout Canadian circus and freak show performer. Towering at an incredible 8 feet 3 inches, he was one of the tallest men ever recorded. Not just a giant in height, Beaupre was also a professional wrestler and strongman, wowing crowds as a star of Barnum and Bailey's circus. His impressive stature and strength made him a true legend in the world of circus freaks. 22. The Men from Mars George and Willie Muse, black albino brothers from Roanoke, Virginia, had an extraordinary circus career. Born in the 1890s, 
they were kidnapped by sideshow agents in 1899. With their rare condition, they became a huge attraction. Initially presented as white Ecuadorian cannibals named Echo and Eco, they were later rebranded as the Sheep-Headed Men and the Men from Mars. Touring with the Barn Circus, they weren't paid despite being well-fed and trained. They later joined Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. In 1927, their mom found them after 20 years and fought for their freedom. They sued for unpaid wages and returned to showbiz in 1928 with a solid contract. Performing at Madison Square Garden, they sold their own merchandise. In the 1930s, they toured the world and performed for royalty. The brothers eventually returned home, living together in a house they bought for their mom. George passed away in 1971, but Willie lived until 2001. 23. Pony Boy Robert L. Huddleston, also known as Pony Boy, was born in 1895 and had a unique disorder that made him walk on his hands and feet. Despite this, he lived a nearly normal life and worked for the circus for 36 years. He went to school, hunted, milked cows, and did other farm chores. Amazingly, he could hike 15 miles a day and never felt uncomfortable walking on all fours. In an interview, he said, I feel just as healthy and normal walking on four as the normal person feels walking on two. Robert's circus acts included throwing his right leg over his shoulder and making clomping sounds with blocks of wood under his hands and shoes. Contrary to what many might think, Robert was healthier than the average man and never felt embarrassed about his condition or being seen by people. 24. Circus Town, USA Gibsonton, Florida is a unique haven known as Circus Town, USA. It's home to retired circus and sideshow performers, including giants, dwarfs, fire eaters, and other freaks. This town offers a welcoming sanctuary where these extraordinary individuals can live and thrive after their careers under the big top. 25. Ringling Brothers Circus This is what the Ringling Brothers Circus used to look like with all sorts of animals being forced to travel from one place to the next, dozens of elephants included. The Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus has now been reimagined and reborn without animals as a high-octane family event with high wire tricks, soaring trapeze artists and bicycles leaping on trampolines. 26. Freak Shows in This Day and Age Back in Victorian times, freak shows were popular, where people with unusual bodies were shown off and exploited for entertainment. But in today's era of body positivity, this wouldn't be acceptable. However, Cirque Bijou, a circus company in Bristol, is reclaiming the term with a twist. Their project, Extraordinary Bodies, features both disabled and non-disabled artists, inviting audiences to appreciate and think about different kinds of bodies and their appearances. 27. 1920s, Circus Freak Show, Bearded Lady, Jack Spratt, and Wife. In the 1920s, circus freak shows were a major attraction, showcasing a variety of unique and curious performers. Footage from that era captures the spectacle of a fat lady, a bearded lady, and the duo of Jack Spratt and his wife. Carnival hucksters, with their colorful tents and lively pitches, added to the vibrant and curious atmosphere. These shows were a mix of wonder and exploitation, drawing huge crowds eager to see the unusual and extraordinary. It was a time when the bizarre and the extraordinary were center stage, creating a lasting impression of the circus as a place of marvels and oddities. 28. Modern Circus of Horrors The modern circus of horrors is a thrilling and spooky twist on the traditional circus. Combining elements of horror with jaw-dropping circus acts, this show features everything from creepy clowns to daring acrobats. Performers deliver spine-chilling stunts and eerie performances that keep audiences on the edge of their seats. With its dark gothic atmosphere and a mix of fear and fun, the modern circus of horrors offers a unique and unforgettable experience for those who love a good scare. 29. Fat Man, 2001. The end of America's last traveling freak show. In 2001, America's last traveling freak show, The World of Wonders, came to an end. This traditional sideshow featured acts like a fire-eating midget and a man who could stick nails in his head. The closure marked the end of an era for American folk art. In today's digital age and with increasing political correctness, there seems to be no place for the freak show on American fairgrounds anymore. 30. A new twist to contemporary circus. Contemporary circuses are way different from the old school ones. Instead of focusing on freak shows and animal acts, they highlight amazing human performances and artistic flair. Companies like Cirque du Soleil lead the way with stunning acrobatics, cool costumes, and creative stories. They don't use animals or exploit people with unique conditions. This new style is not only more artistic, but also kinder and more modern. 
reflecting today's values of inclusivity and compassion. These newly uncovered stories of circus freaks are unlike anything we've ever known about the sideshow world. They could change how we understand this unique part of entertainment history. Makes you wonder what other secrets are hidden in circus archives, right? Guess we'll have to wait and see if there are more circus freaks out there.